All right, so today we have some easy tips and tricks for you to help you remember the muscles of the foot. We're gonna be using Tarzan, 7-Eleven. We're gonna be covering all the layers like Shrek, and it's gonna help you remember this stuff for years to come. So let's get to it. The muscles of the foot. When you're talking about muscles of the foot, the easiest place to start is the dorsal side because there's only two muscles here, the extensor digitorum brevis and the extensor halsus brevis. Now to remember these muscles, just remember they are the brevis versions of the longest muscles you already know from the anterior shin. Again, in the anterior shin, we have the Tom, Dick, and Harry muscles, which stands for the tibialis anterior, the extensor digitorum longus, and the extensor halsus longus. And of course, where there is a longus, there must also be a brevis. So if you remember the two longest muscles up here, their brevis counterparts are right down here on the top of the foot. Both of these muscles are innervated by the deep fibular nerve, which makes sense because the deep fibular nerve innervates all the muscles of the anterior compartment of the shin, including the Tom, Dick, and Harry muscles. So the deep fibular nerve comes down here and just keeps going right into the top of the foot. Now the plantar side has a lot more going on. There are so many muscles here, the plantar muscles are usually talked about in four different layers. And the best way I think to remember these four layers is to use a memory palace, which is basically a memorization technique where you create an imaginary place in your mind that represents what you want to remember. So for this memory palace, I want you to imagine a four story shopping center that correlates with the four layers of muscles we're going to cover. Just as a reminder, when you're looking at the sole of the foot, the most superficial structure we come to is the plantar aponeurosis. And you can think of this as the concrete foundation that our entire shopping center is built on, and the foundation that the plantar muscles rely on to basically stay where they need to stay. Now for the first layer of muscles, I want you to imagine an Abercrombie and Fitch store. And why Abercrombie and Fitch? Because this is the only layer in the foot with abductor muscles. So think of the AB and Abercrombie to remember that this is where you'll find the abductor halsus and the abductor digiti minimi. Then the F in Fitch stands for the flexor digitorum brevis. So those are the three muscles of our first layer. We have two abductors and one big flexor. So think Abercrombie and Fitch. If you've never been to an Abercrombie and Fitch store or don't even know what that is, just imagine the first floor of our shopping center sells clothes and especially long sleeve t-shirts. This will remind you what these muscles kind of look like with two abductors, aka the sleeves on the side and a flexor in the middle. So after walking through the Abercrombie and Fitch store, you jump on the escalator and head to the second floor where you find the garden center. This layer is where you'll find the quadratus planti. So again, it's the garden center, so plants for planti. It's also where you'll find the lubricals, which you might remember is Latin for worms, which is another thing you'll find in a garden center. You'll also find the tendons of the flexor digitorum longus here, which I think of as long vines going through the store to go along with our garden theme. These tendons are really important because the quadratus planti originates off the calcaneus and then inserts onto these tendons, while the lumbricals originate off these tendons and then insert onto the proximal phalanges. Thinking of these tendons like vines can help you remember their layout because the quadratus planti swings into these tendons and attaches, and then the lumbricals swing off these tendons and attach to the toes. Another trick to remember the flexor digitorum longus tendons here is just think if you dig for a long time, you'll find worms, aka the lumbricals, and by digging for a long time, you can also plant plants, aka the quadratus planti. All right, so we're moving up to the third level of our store, or the third layer of our muscles, and here you'll find they're adding a 7-Eleven store. And in fact, it's still under construction, so the sign isn't exactly in order yet. But what we do have is the two heads of the adductor halsus, which looks a lot like a seven. So think they're adding a 7-Eleven to remember the adductor halsus. And then we have our two ones, one on each side. These are the flexor halsus brevis, that's one, and the flexor digiti minimi brevis, that's the other one. And these muscles are pretty easy to remember because, well, what do they do? They flex. Which toe do they move? Well, either the halsus or the digiti minimi. And of course, they're a brevis muscle because all the longest muscles are found up higher in the leg. And now we're moving on to the fourth floor, or basically our last floor. And around here, you would just find a lot of inter-office space. So let's think about a lot of cubicles, a lot of office stuff. And that's because this is where you find the palmar and dorsal interosseous muscles. So think inter-office space for interosseous muscles. Now these muscles work the same, just like in the hand. So the palmar interossei muscles adduct and the dorsal ones abduct. And you can remember this with the mnemonic pads and dabs. So the palmars adduct 
and the dorsal interossi abduct. So that covers the memory palace, but to really lock it in, just sit down for a minute and really try to imagine yourself walking through the space. So that's the key. Visualize the Abercrombie and Fitch store, the garden center, the 7-Eleven, and the office space on top. If you do that, you'll remember these layers for the rest of your life. Finally, let's go over a trick to help you with the innervations. Now the tibial nerve comes down the posterior side of the leg. It goes through the tarsal tunnel and splits into the medial plantar nerve and the lateral plantar nerve. To remember which muscles the medial plantar nerve innervates, well, what do you do when someone tickles the arch of your foot? You laugh. And laugh here stands for the lumbricle, just one, the most medial lumbricle. The A is for the abductor halysis, and the two Fs are for the flexor digitorum brevis and the flexor halysis brevis. So that's the medial plantar nerve, and all the other muscles we talked about besides laugh are supplied by the lateral plantar nerve. All right, so I hope some of those tips helped you out. As always, thanks for watching, and of course, good luck on your next test.